What's cracking? Josie Garfunkel. Let's learn some shit. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to validate your XML and JSON files. For the first example, we're going to do XML since a relevant situation has presented itself. So come over here to the G-Code, check out the File Validators channel. It's going to show you the ones that I personally prefer, free, JSONLint.com for JSON and XMLValidation.com for XML. So let's start by going here. Now that we're over here, the gentleman just sent me a file that he quote validated and it had errors. So I'm going to show you how to validate your file. So this is just happens to be in my download folder. This might be in a different place. So there's two ways to do this. You can either click down here and choose your file happens to be in the download folder for me or I'm a big fan of the drag and drop drag it drop it either one works so you're just gonna click validate and that's gonna instantly show you where your syntax errors are if there are any present there are a few situations where it will show an error that it's not technically an error or not show an error that could be an error but click on the X and it'll bring you to where your issue is, or at least the first issue, We're on line 537. So let's open up our file in Notepad and remedy this situation. Our validator said we were on line 530 something, so we're just gonna quickly get over to there, and I can see it right here. This black line stands out, and also it's missing its little closing tag at the end of that line. Every single line or group or situation has an open and a close an open pac-man mouth to the right a slash with a pac-man mouth to the left this insert has an open with no slash and a close with a slash that opens and closes this whole insert this is opening and closing this tag this is opening and closing parameters you will see it just about everywhere dealing with XML and a lot in HTML as well. So now that we've fixed this error, let's save our file, Control S in Notepad, saved, and let's go revalidate it and see if we fixed it. Back over here at XMLvalidation.com, link in description, link in Discord. Our file is in our downloads folder, we're going to drag and drop it again, and we're going to click validate again and we have another error in this situation line 550 same situation this guy seems to be missing a lot of closing tags hop back over here scroll down a little ways there's the problem drag and drop again and this guy seems to have another error just a random open tag at line 825 this is a great example to show you how to fix some of your errors. Scroll down to the line in your file. As you can see, just a random line, no tag. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Control S to save it again. Let's run it again. Drag and drop. Validate. And another error. Way down here. One more time, drag and drop, validate, and as you see, now we have a clean file. Now let's take a look at how to validate a JSON file. So for JSON, we're going to click this one, the JSON lint link, and let's see if we can't find an error in a JSON. To validate a JSON, come over here to the G code or the link in the description. JSONLint.com is what we're using today. 
and this one isn't quite a drag and drop situation you can't even upload you actually have to physically copy the JSON to your clipboard control C highlight right click click copy whatever the method is and then you gotta paste it in here and then validate so let's open up a JSON right here we have a small one what you're gonna do is from this tip top one the whole entire file all the way to that last mark and we're just gonna paste it in here and then validate it now this file came straight out of editor they're gonna give you clean files but what if we removed something important oh and just like the XML one it tells us what line it's on kinda tells us what it's expecting and whatnot. And in this case because with each new entry you separate them with a comma as you saw me remove it it'll pick it up simply validate it again and it's valid and that's pretty much all you have to do to validate your files and fish out basic syntax errors but that's gonna be it for this one I hope y'all learned some shit I'm out I'm like, I'm going back and don't test the beast Said it wants more, but won't step to me Otherwise they're gonna witness a grotesque defeat Like die, motherfucker, but don't rest in peace Bitch, don't burn to me, the info sure to be All in my dick, I spit so thoroughly Y'all got next, but I live dope currently Turning my cash into cryptocurrency Everybody wanna follow where bingo